Now our story begins in 2002, when Katie Rohner and nine others decided to start working on a program called Downloader 2000 Express, which later would become Orange Comic, one of the worst programs in existence. It would contain a malicious file that was intended to destroy your computer's files when you would download a video. In this documentary, I explain why Orange Kodak had such a bad reputation. This is the story of Orange Kodak. First of all, how was this program made in the first place? Why was it made? Well, we don't know but what we do know is that the 10 people had this idea because their company Rasty Incorporated had their font in orange so they had the idea on how they make this program. The first commercial was aired in January 2003 and it was speculated in what this company will be. When the second commercial aired, it was considered a scam. Second of all, who is the operator? Well he is a mutant being who goes on people's houses and he masks himself as the orange eyes. We don't want to talk too much about him. But if you want to find out about more of him you can visit the Orange Kata Quickie to find out more about this creature. Third of all, who is researcher? He is an innocent person who found the VHS tapes and DVDs and uploaded them to YouTube. The footage you are seeing now is from the 13th commercial he uploaded. Fourth of all, are aliens involved? I don't know, but maybe not. It was speculated that the company was planned in the 1980s and that they wanted this company that no one should know about, but it is now speculated that 10 people, the ones that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, were involved in the making of Orange Kodak. Fifth of all, is Local 58 related to Orange Kodak? Yes. It may be shocking to some of you, but Local 58 is actually related to Orange Comic because of their airing their commercials, since 2005-2007 and they stopped for no reason. We don't know why. History of Orange Comic in 2002, it was called Downloader 2000 Express. It was later changed to Orange Downloader before changing its name again to Orange Comic. In 2003, it was called Orange Comic and the first advert was released and it was an announcement saying that the company was coming soon. In 2004, Orange Comic partnered with Microsoft to make the infamous Orange Comic Windows 98 commercial. In 2005, they made a series of two ads that were really weird. No one knows why they made these. In 2007, Orange Comic partnered with Intel, which they created a commercial that I and the kids would never forget. In 2008, they again partnered with Microsoft to make the second infamous Orange Comic Windows XP commercial. In 2009, Orange Codec partnered with AMD. I don't know if they did a commercial, but I'm certain they did. In 2010, they once again partnered with Microsoft to make the third infamous commercial, the Orange Codec Windows Vista commercial. In 2011, Orange Codec was introduced in Europe and Asia, so they made two adverts about it, each with a different background. In 2012, the New York Times posted an article titled The Fate of Orange Codec, the scam company that never left us, as always, it was deleted for no reason. In January 2013, Orange Codec celebrated its 10th birthday by making an advertisement. In 2014, they once again partnered with Microsoft to make the fourth infamous commercial, the Orange Codec Windows 7 commercial. In 2020, they partnered with SC on TV to make the Orange Codec infomercial. It was notorious for having bad animation skills, and the company received criticism saying it was a scam. In 2021, they received a lawsuit from a private company saying that they should stop making bad commercials and requesting the company to shut down and make their own business. Orange Codex still won the lawsuit. Recently, the company received another lawsuit from another private company saying basically the same thing. They said they should stop making bad commercials, and they requested the company to shut down and make their own business. However, they added a line saying, stop making bad animation. Bad animation is not good animation, I don't even wanna see your commercials. They are too cringe. My two-year-old almost cried during one of their ads, please surrender. Admit it. You were scamming us for years. 
Orange good at lost the lawsuit. The money was earned. The company demolished its building and it is unknown what they are doing now. Hopefully they will regret what they have done to us. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. We did not cover such things as the Sucker from 3000 stream, because it is not related to Orange Codec, but the same company made it. Also there was a CD-ROM and a DVD-ROM version but we did not cover it due to much time of the making of this video. If you want to see more of that, go to the Orange Codec wiki or the Orange Codec subreddit that has more information. Anyway, thank you and bye!